Meanwhile, the father of a murdered teenager tells CBS 11 that he didn't think his son's case would ever be solved. But after almost five years now, Arlington police think that they may have the gunman in that road rage killing. Jason Allen, live in Arlington right now, and the accused shooter already in prison. Doug, he is. He is there for other crimes. It happened about the same time as this murder, and it was another inmate who heard him in prison talking about this shooting who then came to police a few weeks ago out of the blue. As the oldest of five boys, the road rage murder of Michael Jackson Jr. on this residential street back in 2014 was a heavy burden on the whole family, the teenager's father told CBS 11 Friday. It was something he didn't think would ever be solved, and he broke down when he heard it finally happen. He was elated, you know, that it's coming to a closure, but also, you know, was very heartbroken how the whole thing kind of came about and just, you know, reliving that day. That day, Jackson Jr. was with friends going to get something to eat when they stopped for a car blocking the road. Honking and yelling escalated into gunfire. Police identified DeQuavius Hill within weeks. He was a suspect for a burglary on the same street where a gun was stolen from a former officer. And in his phone was a text exchange with his girlfriend who told him to delete a picture of a gun on Facebook. They can't tell that I shot that gun by looking at a picture. What are you talking about, he wrote. They can tell that's the same damn gun, though, his girlfriend replied. It wasn't enough, though, for a charge, but Hill wasn't done talking about it. Police said he let details slip in prison to another inmate who this month opened up to police. We're hopeful that even though this was a cold case related to a homicide that's five years old, because of the nexus to road rage in a neighborhood, we're hoping that kind of, you know, gets the conversation going again that, you know, we're not going to really rest until someone is uh, brought to justice in these types of cases. Michael Jackson Sr. told me on the phone tonight he had made it his mission really within the past year to make sure his son's case got solved, and he applauded police tonight here in Arlington for not letting it go. We're live tonight in Arlington. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Jason, thank you.